This is the gateway to Bodha Stupa and this is the stupa itself. This is the stupa. Stupa uh, have five divisions. It represents uh, earth, fire, water, like Panjabuda, or it also shows the different modes of life. These are the 147 niches around the stupa, and there you can see 108 Buddha images also in it. There are small revolving bells inside the niches, so it is the belief that. If you rotate the bells in clockwise direction while you are walking, you will get luck and prosperity. So that's why people are coming here and uh, one lap is around 150 meters. Uh, so normally the people are you know, going three laps around this. You can see one big rotating bell there. This is uh, one of the world's UNESCO's World Heritage Area and uh, around 1950s uh, there was a inflow of uh, Tibetan refugees to this area so the Tibetans uh, settled in and around this uh, stuba and this stuba was built in uh, around AD 600 by the son of King Vikramaditya at that time there was a very heavy drought occurred in this area and the king decided to build a small pond in the southern part of his uh, palace and when he built the pond there was no water and he asked the astrologers what to do and they said there should be a human sacrifice uh, for that the man should have 32 lakshanas but at that time there were only three persons in the country who had these 32 lakshanas one the king himself and the two sons so the king decided to uh, kill himself so he placed himself covered in a cloth and he asked his uh, son to kill the person uh, who is covered in a cloth. The son doesn't know that it was the king. He killed the person by cutting his head and the head runs to this area where the head comes down. There he built the stone. You can see the drainage here. This is the traditional way of Nepal architecture. You can't see any plastering over the walls, but still the building looks great. This yellow color building is a monastery. On the side, you can see a big bell in it. From here, you can enter into the surroundings of the stupa there's an exit and entry on this side
there are around 50 monasteries here most of them are tibetans you know this is a small tibet area in the inside nepal so mostly you can see tibetans here This Tanga painting is actually the Tibetan traditional painting. Having a picture in, in a home means you will get luck. You will have enormous power of luck. That is the belief of Tibetans. This is a monastery at the side of Toba and this is the biggest bell there. You can visit inside the monastery to see it. So with this my video ends. Those who like the video please subscribe, like and share. Thank you very much.